from Williams, another shuffle alley. Spy Hunter cockpit. We're working on it. It's gonna need a lot of work. But we already got the cabinet sanded and ready for the artwork that's coming. Back there is an NBA jam. It won't go in the guy's house. We gotta cut it in half. We'll have to show you some of that, but what we're showing you now is this Alley Cats, another Alley Cats, and this one is just as nice as all the others. You knew I was going to say that, but Stephen has done an extra expert job on the artwork on this. Look at the uh, cityscape here. It's just beautiful. All the blue has been redone, as is the black and the yellow. All the colors are new. All fresh paint to cover over the ugliness. New T-Molding from T-Molding.com. New display panel here in our pin section. New fluorescent lights, of course. We took this out. Actually, Frank, you did that. Yes. You took the tray out and you washed it. Soap and water. That's right. Yeah, that's that's out. Out. Scrubbing. Scrubbing, yes. Simple green, too. And a brush to get all the crud off. Now everything is crystal clean and in great shape too. The uh, pin section in the back there uh, resets all the pins. We have brand new pins. We have brand new rubber that pins swing up onto. We've taken all, this play field was removed, of course, and we re peened all these switches here. Oh, is that a hell of a job. Wallace, you did the switches on this one, didn't you? I think Steve did Steve, oh, Steve. Steven's not getting paint. There's Wallace there. Taking another break. Wallace, I timed that break. I didn't like the cigarette yet. <laughs> the look on his face indicates that he doesn't really give a shit. <sighs> did you know the single screw holds the tray in? The works in the drawer tray, yes. Now, up here. Very nice back glass. This gla this is actually plexiglass, but it's it's like brand new. The game is in terrific shape. We also have LED lighting where the old GI used to be. Um, runs so much cooler and has no drain on power. Regular light bulbs we find work best for the strikes and spares scoring. And all the displays are bright and clean. And that is because either you who rebuilt the power supply. I did. Frank, who's working the camera, changed all these cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cats. We've opened games up that were shopped <coughs> by others, and there's one new cap in it. One. Can't do it because the power supply's 30 years old. So you change them all. The caps are always your weak link. Uh, lithium battery here, we nail have put this in a little holder so the customer can change that himself. He can buy that from the drugstore down the street and change that. It'll last about five years. That's what we figured. And we refloat solder on all the edges, lead-free solder throughout the whole machine. You can actually see the reset motor from here. You see it right there, Frank? Yep. That reset motor, I'm gonna operate it here. That resets all the pins at once. And then this switch engages. And what happens is the computer fires this for a moment and turns off. And then this switch here allows it to make a complete cycle and stop itself. There's a brake built into the gearbox. Very clever system. And it's worked great for many years. <laughs> Good system. Now back here we have everything in plugs. So, um... Uh, the customer, actually, we're going to deliver this, so the guys will take this apart and put it back together in the customer's house. But everything's back to plugs. We had a couple wires that were jumped and not nice, fixed. And you've seen our other videos where we take the 1x4 out, we put a 2x4 in, and then drive bolts through the, the casters to hold both the wheels on. Brand new casters. You can pick them up at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're like four fifty a caster. And then you don't have dead spots. They roll easily. Really, really 
a great idea to freshen up your game. Now, somebody pointed out earlier today and said, why don't you show people what a different game plays like? And I said, well, that's a unique idea we can do because you know all shuffle alleys actually play five different games. So you can actually function and play all these different games just by looking at the instruction card. Now, here's a real quick rule. Every shuffle, every digital shuffle alley game plays regulation bowling, which all of you love, and they all play flat. That's where the lights sweep across. The third most popular game is a game called Strike 90, which happens to be game number four here. That's in almost all of the 13 electronic shuffle alleys. Not all of them. The last two games are indigenous to whatever game it is. So what happens is the Williams folks figure out, hey, let's create a new game and let's call it something. Now it's possible, now in this case, if you look in the back at the bottom, you can see regulation, super X, triple strike, strike 90, and flash. So the two games that are unique for this are super X and triple strike. So if I start the game, oh, we've got to put credits on it. We have this little point on it. It says, it says thanks. Now our game has started, and now I use the other button on this side to select the game. Now there's Super X. Super X, player scores 90 for a strike and gets one frame of flash game for extra points. Oh, that sounds interesting. A spare scores 60. A blown frame, which is no strike nor spare, scores the total pin count that are knocked down after the second shot. Well, that sounds like it's going to be hard. That means you only get the flash if you get a strike. Let's see what I can do. Oh dear. Well, I got eight. All right, let's see what I do in this one. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh god. How am I doing? <laughs> oh ah, look. Now here we are. In the flash. Now here we go. Oh. Well, that's, that's good, I guess. And now, most games have what they call a beer frame. See where it says beer frame? That means whoever wins this frame is supposed to buy a round of beer or loses the frame. Loses the frame. Buys everybody. <laughs> Why am I not getting this? That's what you said. Okay. I need another strike. <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, do you hear... Do you hear the, uh... Um, the bottles breaking? Only Alley Cats makes the sound of bottles breaking when you slide the puck. Isn't that sharp? That's pretty neat. You can actually set it to have bowling pins. Originally, the game was made with brown plastic bottles instead of the bowling pins, but they disappeared pretty fast, and no one has made any new molds. So you have to put regular pins on the Uh-oh. Now, you can actually get that. It's a matter of timing the shot over there. That's right, which I did. Frank, I'm bowling just like I did at the bowling alley. Tenth frame. Well, that was a good one. One. And there's your match. It actually has a match just like a pinball machine. Isn't that short? Of course, your regulation bowling, which is what everybody plays. I'm not having much fun of anything, am I, Frank? One last shot. Oh, no, no 
match again. Game over. Now the match feature is usually turned off or disabled, but we always like to leave it on. No, uh, Frank, did I do good? <sighs> I can't play pinball. I can't play shuffle alley. What what can I do good, Frank? Edit videos, maybe. <laughs> And I see Wallace is still toddling about over there. Wallace! Oh, but look. Right. We've got Congo coming along. We're in the final stages of this beautiful um, whodunit. Actually, we're only missing one part, the uh, octaves in the trough. We have a new set of octaves coming. And that's it. And look, there's a teed off coming. See the teed off? So, uh, and next week we have so many games sold. It's unbelievable. We've never had so many sales. And it's not Christmas. Ooh, we're going to run out of stuff to sell. See you soon. Good night. We're done here!